there's ulting around the map. There's tapping queue at people and picking your spot to all in. The Spartan Warrior 5. But there were some things that just felt too generic to him. So we wanted to make him our Runeterra sort of one-man army rather than this faceless helmet guy. When we were updating Pantheon, we realized that there was a ton of things that a lot of players loved. And I think ideally, we always want to keep that kernel of why there are still players who love that champion. So we thought, how can we not break a character and still bring it forward to a higher standard? But whenever we consider champion updates, we usually kind of are deciding whether or not to change a character or to move the character's story forward. With Pantheon, what we ended up doing is sort of summarizing all his lore that had existed because we realized a lot of players really did like the character of Atreus as part of old Pantheon, and then using that as like the first 50% of his new bio. So old Pantheon started out as a man named Atreus, who was a very skilled fighter and wanted to ascend Mount Targon, and the process became a vessel for the god of war, Pantheon. With this update, the actual aspect of war died during a fight with Aatrox, and Atreus has now returned in command of his own body, but still is able to wield the aspect of war's godlike power. Pantheon's new kit, art and lore, that we wanted to make him feel like a skilled warrior. So myself and, and Sunny, who's, who's another artist here on, on the champion team, we went through a couple of ideas. One of them was where he had all these multiple spirit arms that would come out of him. There was also an idea where he had a bunch of like, swords and spears and things stuck into his shield. And we were doing a lot of different things with the spear. We had all these floating bits going on. But as the project continued, it seemed like he was a bit unapproachable, unfamiliar, too godlike. He didn't have the grit or the, the gravity that, that we wanted. Through Pantheon's development, concept art works with narrative and design. They all sort of fuel each other. David Slagle on the narrative side, he had this really great story with this battle with Aatrox. So we settled on the idea of him having a little bit of the battle damage, but, but still with some of the Targonian aspects of it. All this part here, like the shield, and the helmet, the spear, and the cape, those are all aspects of, of Pantheon. But then there's a big scar over his chest. We thought that adds a very mortal aspect to the design. One thing we found out in development that surprised me a little bit was how much attachment there is on uh, the character as a spell-based character. Uh, Old Pantheon is a very simple kit. He throws spears, he has a point-and-click stun, and every game kind of played out the same. And what we were trying to do here was move him to, he's no longer like deterministically going to win in these ways that he was before. Some of the new Pantheon ideas that I went through early were things like he throws a spear out, it sticks in the ground, he fights with the sword for a while. Uh, when he goes and picks up the spear, that's when he switches back. A bunch of stuff like that. But they drifted too far from like old Pantheon. It's really important to go in knowing what can be changed to make it look and feel awesome. And what can't be changed or you'll lose the gameplay that like attracted you in the first place. And so a lot of the update was about doing things like how do we make his poke really reliable and how do we make his all-in really good rather than guaranteed to work. So for New Pantheon's kit, we changed every spell uh, but tried to stay close to the spirit of what the character was about. So his ult is mostly the same. Uh, we call it Grand Starfall now. He comes in at an angle and comes streaking across the ground. There are, I think, some gameplay wins to that. I expect skilled Pantheon players to like hit more enemies with their Grand Starfalls than they did with old Pantheon's Grand Skyfall. What's really fun about Pantheon is that like he's not only just this cosmic figure that has a lot of like magic to him, he's also a physical warrior, and I think making physical warriors in this game is actually pretty challenging. Oh, he's using the physical spear shield. Like he's now using magic power to fight. So for him, we actually cause a lot of impacts on the ground. And by having these very grounded elements, it helps him from feeling too magical and too godly and too heavenly, when most importantly, like, he is just a very, very strong warrior. I would say I'm nervous and excited about Pantheon going to players. Like, 
I'm very excited to see how players react to the stuff we kept because it's much more important for an update like this to be like for the Pantheon player. A lot of the basic actions you're taking are going to be very similar to before. He's still a top laner or jungler primarily. You're still going to be trying to snowball around the map. This is still Pantheon, but requires maybe a little more skill expression and as a result, give the character that is like clearly powerful that tools to hit even higher moments.